And Muslims around the world are observing Eid al-Fitr, the three-day festival marking the end of Ramadan. During the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims who were able fasted from sunrise to sunset Imam Johari Abdul Malik of the Dar al Hijra Islamic Center in Falls Church, Virginia, describes the transition from Ramadan to the Eid. You know, when we think about a month in, that, that is starving the body, but then you have to figure out how do you feed your soul? The process of, of withdrawing from the things that really drive you causes you in a, in a sense to feel I have to rely on God for my energy. Something that you really can't prepare for is the feeling that you will miss Ramadan when it's over. You will spend time reminiscing, trying to prepare yourself not to have remorse, not to, to say, I let Ramadan slip through my fingers. I really could have prayed more. I could have, I could have done more charity. And so I encourage people, prepare yourself so that when the month ends, you don't have remorse, that you did what you could do and then be grateful. Saturday and Sunday, will be days of fun and play, especially for children. So we'll have moon bounce, we'll have rides. It's, it's a day of fun, it's a day of joy, and it's summertime. And so in the summertime, we celebrate like that. On the day of Eid al-Fitr, every family will donate to provide for a family of their size. It's called Zakat al-Fitr. I have to duplicate my joy for that day and share it with others so that it really is a day that everyone in the community should have. It's going to be an opportunity to enjoy a, a light but quick breakfast and then to the mosque to listen to a short sermon with two units of prayer and in that sermon is going to be a reminder about the great success that we have made as humanity. We have all come out of it with a renewed spirit and a renewed conviction. And so it is about celebration. It is about people congratulating one another that we survived the month of Ramadan.